What word? Hi, Ariel. Beautiful painting. Hey, you're thirsty. Hi, Jimmy. David. David. David, it's time to take your medicine. I don't want them. No, David, that's enough. Mm, I don't want them from you. David, mm. Dr. Lane said you must take them. David, take your medication. It's all right, Jimmy. Please, David, would you just have... Mm. This isn't really quite what you had in mind when you suggested professional development. I can't just turn and run the first time it gets difficult. Evening. You might want to wash your shoes. Ashby, 23 years old, nurse on duty. Before dinner, she had an altercation with one of the patients, a David Hoyle. During dinner, he came back to the bathroom and he attacked her. Looks like the knife was taken from the kitchen. Miss O'Brien. Having a quiet night out at the old nut house, are you? <laughs> oh, sorry. No, I didn't mean. Sorry. Parks. Oh, sir. Death knock, sir. Yeah, her father lives out in Wendery. Wendery. And don't you usually handle this sort of thing? Not tonight. I could drive him, sir. The doctor's helping me with my professional development. Perhaps this falls into that category. Yes. Yes, I'm sure the superintendent can drop me home. We might be here for a while. Oh, all right. Just do it properly. Yes, sir. Dr. Winters, Superintendent. My police surgeon, Dr. Lucian Black. Huh. 
I have the greatest respect for your father. Dr. Blake was wanting to know a few things about the attacker. David came to us uh, two years ago, a catatonic. He's made great progress in the last few months. Good. Has he ever displayed violent behaviour before? He attacked his mother. She had him committed. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, I don't think so. Um, you should get those cuts on your hands seen too, though. And by the way, any chance I might be able to speak with David? You'll have to talk to Dr. Lane. He was frantic when we found him. ECT was the kindest thing we could do for him. Electroconvulsive therapy. Well, it has a, a bad name, but can be very effective depending on the voltage and frequency. And when will he be able to talk? He'll be awake in an hour or two, but it will be 12 hours or so before he's fully alert. You have secure rooms here, don't you, Doctor? We do, and we could continue treatment here until the courts need him, of course. Right. Well, as your police surgeon, I recommend you stay here. Save your rostering on a man for suicide watch. I mean, up to you, of course. It's all yours. Thank you, Doctor. That was an act of kindness. Lucia. Kenneth Lane. Ah. After you. Thank you. It's so cold in here. Yes. Have you seen ECT before, Lucien? Not in a medical setting, no. <laughs> what other setting is there? Well, you see a lot of things during wartime, Kenneth. We have no idea how shooting electrical impulses through the brain can help these poor souls, but it does. And one day I want to know why. Interested in research? Huh? Oh, very. Hmm. I understand he attacked Miss Ashby earlier in the afternoon. Do you know why? Well, David has always had trouble with female authority. David was committed after threatening his mother. Uh, female authority issues. She had ambitions for him to be a classical pianist. I believe the pressure was too much for him. Question is, how did he get his hands on that knife in the first place? I don't know. Kitchen reported it missing a couple of days ago. Boss usually does this. You've never done this before, have you? No, I have. I have. I just. I hate it, that's all. Do you want me to come with you? I knew you'd forget your keys. Here we go. Yes? Uh, excuse me, sir. Sorry to disturb you. Is this the home of Violet Ashby? Put that hat on, Constable. Sorry, sir? Hat on. You're going to do this, do it properly. I, I used to be in the force. I know the rules. Yes, sir. I'm afraid I have some bad news. You're not on the bloody doorstep. Doesn't that boss of yours teach you anything? Who's this? I'm District Nurse Maddie O'Brien. Well. 
Don't just stand there. Cleaning the room already? Oh, there's no point leaving it like that. Are you quite sure about that? You are joking, aren't you? I don't know. Oh, Blake. No, I'm serious. I, I, I don't know. Look, say you're a homicidal maniac. And no, 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 please, listen, listen. And you're completely insane. You have mother issues and you've decided you're going to kill the nurse on duty. What do you do? Do you go and steal a knife and hide it somewhere? Wait for a few days till she's all alone and make your move? Maybe. Then you're not insane, are you? Because you've planned it. So what are you saying? Well, I'm saying that... I don't know. I'm not getting anything here and that's the problem. I so much preferred working with your father. Well, I can well imagine. We had a call at the station at 7.40 p.m. this evening to attend the Black Hills Psychiatric Hospital. By the time we arrived, the deceased... Violet. Violet. Had... Had uh, sustained multiple stab wounds to the abdomen. It appears to have been a premeditated attack. One of the patients. I'm sorry, sir. Was she interfered with? No, sir. Not from what I saw. Is there a Mrs. Ashby, perhaps, sir? I don't know. But Violet's mother is no longer with us. They didn't look after her in that place. They told her to leave, but there was a matter. With her, it was a matter of pride. Well, that's that then. <clears throat> Constable, Vi wore her mother's um, eternity ring as a um, uh, kind of keepsake. It was a mixture of emeralds and diamonds. Or your daughter's personal effects will be returned to you as soon as possible. The ring is the only thing I care about. Make sure it gets back to me. Yes, sir. Bloody hell. You okay? Not really. Danny and Matty seemed rather subdued this morning. I'm not surprised. Hmm. You were going to hand over your receipts? Hmm? Your receipts? Yes, uh, that's right. Um, I do have them somewhere. Uh, actually, in a few places, but I'll gather them all together. Your father used to do his own book work. I offered to help, but it was a matter of pride for him. Well, that's where Dad and I differ. Hmm. I have no pride. <laughs> Did you know? The most modern technique for treating patients with mental illness is to shoot charges of electricity through their brains. Yes, electroconvulsive therapy. You've been reading my medical books? Only when you're not here. <laughs> How does it work, anyway? No, no one's really sure. But somehow it seems to break the cycle. It must be terribly painful. No, oh, one couldn't even imagine. However, very few side effects apparently have 
short-term confusion and disorientation, certainly headaches, and short-term memory loss. Oh. I'll remember that when you forget to give me your receipts. I'll take you through shortly, sir. Lawson. Hey, sir. I'm, uh, I'm very sorry to hear of your loss. Everyone is. Would you like me to come with you? No. This one will do. This way, sir. Doug Ashby. He's my commanding officer for 10 years. Made my life hell. Is this your daughter? Violet Ashby? Yes, it is. You can head off, Danny. Well done. One deep stab, that was the blow that killed her. The knife was driven up under the rib cage, punctured a lung, severed an artery, she would have been dead in 30 seconds. And after that, there were five horizontal slashes across her torso and one curved slash, all surface cuts. Get to the point. That first blow seems almost designed to cause maximum damage, suggesting a detailed knowledge of anatomy. The rest, the rest were just decoration. I'll do the talking. Doctor? I'm not convinced this is necessary. Oh, we need to take statements where we can. I'll be in my office. Mr Hoyle? I'm Superintendent Lawson, and this is Dr. Lucien Blake. I'd like to ask you some questions about last night. I don't remember anything. What's the last thing you do remember? The day room. What time was it? Don't know. Was it before dinner? Was it? Was it after dinner? Before. I was playing. Good. And what then? You remember having an argument with Nurse Ashby? You understand that she was killed sometime later? Mm -hmm. Yes. Did you attack her? Most of. Miss Ashby was really nice. She asked me questions. Then why did you kill her? I don't know. David, I've heard you're a very good piano player. He thinks he killed her. Of course he did. No 
Well, why can't he remember? It is a nutcase locked in a padded cell. He didn't present as unfit, just confused. He's fit for trial. And that's what worries me. You know that his fingerprints are all over the knife. You coming? Um... I'll catch up with you later. I couldn't help admiring your bird. It's beautiful. I've practiced a lot. Yes, I can tell. I'm Lucian. Oriel. What a lovely name. What are you going to paint? I don't know yet. Do you know, my mother was an artist. And sometimes she'd let me come into her studio and I'd... I'd sit and watch her paint. I loved it. Would you like to see something I've painted? Yes, please. Oh, oh, that's good. That's that's really good. Is is that David? I painted it yesterday. And this is before he had the fight with Nurse Ashby, isn't it? Before. The after. Oriol, tell me, what did you think of Nurse Ashby? She asked too many questions. Thank you, Oriol. I'm Dr. Black. I know. And you are? Oriel doesn't like you. I'm sure Oriel can speak for herself. I don't like you either. But you do like Oriel, don't you? That's what this is all about. <laughs> don't you talk about her. And why shouldn't I talk about her? Because oh! you're weak. Well, some people might debate that. Now, look, Oriel is a very lovely young woman, but this isn't the best way to gain her attention, is Bryn! it? Bryn! Bryn! Let him go! Let him go! Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Winters. They want you to stop upsetting the patients. Oh, do they now? Well, they really want me to do a sack you, but I thought I'd soften it. You can't help yourself, can you? Well, don't you think something's very strange there? Of course I do. It's an asylum. It's all bloody strange. Well, that big chap who threatened me sees himself as Oriole's protector. I suggest we add him to the list. Oh, look, there's no bloody list, Blake. Hoyle was found with a knife standing over that poor girl. Is this where you say something about working with my father? Don't tempt me. You really think something's wrong about that murder? Oh, I'm not sure, Danny. How is Violet Ashby's dad? He's a tough old bloke. Apparently he was the boss's boss when he first started. Made his life hell. Well, explains a few things, doesn't it? Listen, can you tell me where I might be able to find Matty this afternoon? Uh, she was rostered on early this morning, so she'd be home right now. I did some checking around for you. Ah, thank you. Did you know Violet Ashby was accused of negligence? Uh, a patient died last year, a Patrick Garrett. Apparently there was some mix-up with his meds and... She got off with a reprimand. A reprimand? For fatally mixing up someone's meds? Well, apparently it wasn't quite so cut and dried. The finding was vague. And the hospital took her back. <laughs> Dear, oh dear. That's not much of a recommendation, is it? How are you? Perhaps it was a mistake, me taking you with me last night. If I'm going to be serious about the work, I need to see all sides of it. Yes. <clears throat> Maddie. She was a nurse. 
And she was my age. And she had... She had a whole life ahead of her, yes, I know. Does this mean I'm not cut out for this? Oh, not at all. Do you know what it means? It means you're absolutely the right person for the job. Doctor, a patient here to see you. No appointment. Of course. One of our regulars? No, uh, I don't think so. Oreo, what a nice surprise. Is that one of your mothers? That one? No, no, not that one. Why are you here, Oreo? I'm a voluntary patient. I can sign myself out. That's not quite what I'm asking, is it? You said you liked my painting. Yes, I did. Would you like to see another? It's you. Yes. Do you like it? <laughs> wonderful. Really wonderful. You're very talented, Oriel. But I'm not sure that it was a good idea for you to come here. Why not? How did you come to be at Black Hill in the first place? Mum and Dad pay for me to be there. Why? There was a boy I liked. But he didn't like me. I got angry. With him? With his girlfriend. I see. And how did you get on with Nurse Ashby? She was always asking questions, writing things down in a little book. Mm. That's what David said too. She talked to him a lot. That was after Patrick died. Patrick was a patient, wasn't he? They said Violet killed him accidentally. Do you believe that? Well, I'll tell you something, Oriel. These paintings... Boy, they are... Well, they really are exceptional. I love the way you capture how you feel. And you manage to do that with your painting of David as well. He's easy to paint. You know what he's thinking. So if I was to look at your painting of David, would I see that he was thinking of hurting Nurse Ashby? David would never have hurt her. Especially not with a kitchen knife. Why not? His dad was a butcher. He can't stand the sight of blood. And he's terrified of knives. I see. Oriel, where were you last night? After? David had his argument with Nurse Ashby. Lucian is supposed to mean bringer of light. Did you know that? Not really, no. I think they're wrong. What's going on? Oriel Vogel can't tell me where she was last night between the day room and dinner. So? She has a history of jealous attacks, and she's prone to inappropriate attachments. Blake, you're a GP, you're not a shrink. What if I can prove David Hoyle did not kill Violet Ashby? Hmm? How'd you swing this? You're supposed to be staying away. I may have lied to Dr. Lane. 
David, how are you? I'm Dr. Lucian Blake. Do you remember me? No. Do you, um, do you remember why you've been locked in your cell? Mm. Don't be alarmed, Dawson. David, I want you to take this knife. I want you to take the knife and stab me. Blake. Come along, you won't get into trouble, I promise. Mm. David, come on, I want you to take the knife. I can't. Blake. You can't take the knife, can you, David? The very thought of touching the blade terrifies you, doesn't it? Lawson, look, I... I don't know who killed Violet Ashby, but I can tell you this. Of all the people it could be, it wasn't this young man here. But I did. I had the knife in my hand. I had her blood on me. I can still see him. It's all right, David. Killed her. Mm. Killed her. David! Hey! Hey! Get him out of here! Oh, God's sake! You said you wanted to talk to David for research purposes. My patients are not there for you to play games with. I believe Dr. Blake was testing a hypothesis. What hypothesis? Could you give us a moment? Can I will not let this happen again. It won't, no. If you don't mind. You found it hard to believe that David Hoyle could have killed Violet, haven't you? First it was me you were wondering about, then it's Oriel. Oriel has private sessions with Dr. Lane. I took her from the day room to Dr. Lane's office. I collected her an hour later and took her to the dining room. I see. And what is it you think you see, Dr. Blake? And what about you, Doctor? I did not kill Violet. And why should we believe you? Because I loved her. I loved her. And she seemed to love me. You were lovers. Dr. Winters. What about her reprimand? Violet always maintained she was innocent. How did you get the cuts on your hand? Some of our patients harm themselves just to give their internal pain an external form. I'm no different. How's the investigation going? Someone's daughter died. A number of lives have been pretty much ruined. And my pride has taken a battering. Oh, I thought you didn't have any. <laughs> I thought so too.
Jane. Did I wake you? No, I was up. Fancy your drink? No, I'm fine. Ah, here's one you might know. Here's one you might know. Join in whenever you like. It's a little late for a sing song. Nonsense. Never too late for a song. Yes, it is. You play very well. It's a shame we only hear you late at night. Yes. My poor dad was a virtuoso. He could play anything. Which is why I eventually took up the drums. But oh, oh, bloody hell. Don't worry. You should go to bed. Yes. Dr. Blake's son gets it spectacularly wrong again. Self-recrimination and alcohol, Gene, never mix them. I'll keep that in mind. Come on, bed. <sighs> Oops. Um, shall I... No, no, leave that. Oh, it's a bloody mess. Yes. Oh, I... I should probably... I should probably... Probably go and brush my teeth, she. Ah, oh, sweet Jane. Jane. Sir, Violet Ashby's effects. Uh, her dad wanted them back. Should I take them over or? No, uh, give me. Got a bill. Sir. Set of car keys, one pair of glasses damaged, and uh, two gold rings, one with gemstones. Superintendent. Thanks for the house call. I'm glad it was you. Not that mess of a man you called your constable. Constable Parks is all right. Lawson. It really was one of her loonies that did this, was it? Patient died up there a couple of months ago. They blamed Violet for it. She was trying to prove it wasn't her fault. 
we think it might have been one of the patients. Well, it's your investigation. I'd be asking a few more questions. So. There's a plate of bacon and eggs when you're ready. Thank you. Jane. I do apologize for last night. My, um, playing was horrendous. I wouldn't say that. Dad would have. Thank you for the tea. lost my mind. been um, studying your paintings. They really are very good. Lawson, would you mind? Um... Now, this one. Can you tell me what's happening here? You were talking to me. Right. And this one. Why is that so much darker? The lights went down. Our power system's very old. It struggles to, to cope when there's additional drain on it. Ariel, do you know why the lights go down? It's when Dr. Lane does the ECT on us. Right. Right. What about these ones? You painted this one before David had his argument with Nurse Ashby, didn't you? Yeah. And this one was after the argument, wasn't it? He'd left the room. The lights went low. I guessed it was for him. Everyone else was in the day room. Right. What time do you think that was? Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Let's have a little look in the book, shall we? Now, here we are. 
Hoyle David, 150 volts, 8.55 p.m. after Violet was killed. But there's no record of any treatment around 7 o'clock. Oriel, can you tell me how many times a day would you say the, the lights dimmed? Oh, once or twice, if that. Four times a day, at least. I count them. Four. David had two sessions of ECT with Dr. Lane that day, before and after Violet was killed. And only the, the latter has been recorded in the log. And there is no way, no way, David could have killed Violet Ashby. Step back. I'll deal with this. Stay where you are. Ted, help me. Oh, the cavalry's arrived. This man's insane. Oh, just angry. He wants to know why your name was all the way through his daughter's notebooks. I, I can tell you why, Mr. Ashby. Dr. Lane here thinks of himself as a researcher. Lucian. Extra, extra sessions at ECT, and I'm guessing heavier dosages of drugs, just to see what happens. I mean, after all, they're, they're just loonies. What else are they good for? And then one of them died. And Violet was blamed. This was the one who framed her? Yes. You see, Violet started asking too many questions. And he must have worked out that she was onto him. So he murdered her and mutilated her and tried to frame one of his patients. This is absurd! Mr. Ashby, please! Sir, Mr. Sir, sir! I understand this is your old service pistol. So? Went missing in the changeover. We've been looking for it. I, I, I just need to do a bit of paperwork, then I can put it to bed. But you must give me the gun. Not till he confesses. Doug, it won't be admissible. You got enough to convict? I'll get it sorted. You've got Violet's notebooks. She kept meticulous records. You should be very proud of that. You'll be charging me with firearms offences. Impossible! Mm -hmm. Intent to commit murder. That's my decision, Doug. It's time to go home now. Kenneth Lane, I'm charging you on suspicion of murder and assault. You have the right to remain silent. You're old Tom's boy, aren't you? Yes, so everyone keeps reminding me. Good man, your dad. Psychiatry is such a new field. We're 150 years behind immunology. A 500 behind surgery. ECT is only in its infancy. There, there's a new generation of antipsychotic drugs. Dibenzodiazepine shows great promise when coupled with hypnosis. And uh, you thought you'd just speed things along a little? No one missed Patrick Garrett. No one would have missed David Hoyle. At least their lives could have been of use to someone. And Violet Ashby got framed when Patrick Garrett died and she started asking questions. David had told me Violet was keeping a notebook, uh, doses, treatments, everything. I, I couldn't let that go on. Then you gave Hoyle ECT. And while he was unconscious, you killed Violet. Then dragged him into the room, made him take the knife so that when he woke up... Well, he, he would have no memory of what he'd done. Uh, we've been checking your past records, and there are some unexplained patient deaths at other hospitals that you've worked at. Not all of those were research. 
And what did your research tell you after all of this? Oh, Lucian. It's far too early to tell. Lovely to hear the piano at a reasonable time of day. Jean. Thank you for tidying up after me last night. I've made quite a mess. No trouble at all. Smartest survive. Congratulations to our new quiz champion. Don't tell me to settle down. This is fixed. Simon. <laughs> Thought James had a heart attack. Not according to the doctor. Roger and James Holbrook got themselves into a lot of trouble with our Mr. Lowe. This man came into my shop making certain wild allegations. It's true. He tried to kill me. Oh. Anything else I should know? You should be investigating him for murder. I should have won. I'm, uh, working out how to turn a television set into a murder weapon. Oh!